r slash ask reddit bartenders of reddit what fricked up shit have you seen while at the bar this video contains strong language and stories of violence that may be unsuitable for younger audiences viewer discretion advised barback at a small family run bar two elderly ladies come in with a very young girl like 10 to 12 years old she looks disheveled her eyes are bugging out and she isnt saying a word to anyone the ladies said they found her walking like a zombie on the side of the freeway. She was only wearing a loose white t-shirt and bloody underwear. It was very clear she had been drugged, raped, and abandoned. We instantly called the cops. I have no idea what happened to her after they picked her up. That incident made me sick to my stomach. I hope she is doing okay now. My dad was a bouncer for several bars back when I was younger. A couple of douchebags were talking about the women around the place in the way one can imagine a couple of horny drunk guys would. They then talked about who they would pick up and take home. They were trying to roofie someone. He caught on to this because they were talking about it when they thought nobody could hear them. He thought he saw a gun print on one of their jackets and knew if he confronted them, it would get ugly. He called the cops and had someone stall them till the cops came. Sure enough. They had roofies, two knives, and a loaded gun without a concealed carry permit. Wow your dad handled that perfectly that's awesome. That's terrifying, it sounds like they would have killed her. Your dad saved a life. I wonder how many of us come so close to death without ever knowing it. My mother was a barmaid in her younger days. Saw plenty of bar fights. Those are way more brutal than movies make them out to be. Glass breaking in your face isn't gonna leave a few scratches, that shit embeds itself in your face. You're not talking about stitches, you're talking about surgery. She saw one dude get sucker punched, also known as a king hit. Guy was comatose immediately and passed away a few days later in hospital. She left bar tending shortly after that. I've been hit in the head with a pint glass before. I lost so much blood. He cut a tendon in his hand and can't close it fully glass is no joke. I got in a restaurant brawl once, I got bottled the glass didn't shatter. Didn't realize till we got back to my mate's place I had beer running down my face and a throbbing headache, next day it grew to a massive lump and I had a little bold patch for about 4 months. Bar fight for me, guy spiked me on the top of the head with the ridged part of the bottom of a beer bottle. It didn't break but my scalp did, split open like a melon. So much adrenaline I didn't realize until the bouncer broke it up and I started feeling wet and warm all over my neck and shoulders. I was underage, which the manager seemed to figure out pretty quickly at that point. He wrapped my head in a shirt, bundled me outside and into a cab before the cops came, gave me a $100 and said go to whatever hospital and get fixed up. Cut took 12 staples to close. My husband's uncle was killed in a bar fight. He and his best friend had been drinking together got into an argument about a woman, one punch and he was done and gone. So sad how quickly that can happen. That's exactly why I never throw a first punch BC you never know what will happen if you hit somebody just the right way and they fall into something. Goddamn saw Atama. Broken glass in fights is so, so extreme. It's no joke. Used to live in a very shady building right out of college, and had to once give first aid to a guy in the lobby who had gotten hit in the face, neck with a glass bottle from a 40 ounces that shit is not like in action movies where it explodes and the guy falls over. The glass broke turned one half of his face into ground beef as it dragged across his face, neck during the hit. You could look right through and see the inside of this mouth and teeth, through like five different gaping holes. Arterial spurts, the works. I worked as a janitor in an ur for a while, and that glass incident was still some of the worst blood loss I've ever personally seen. Dude survived, saw him in the building later, but his face was permanently wrecked. Like, one half of face completely mangled with scarring and stuff never, ever, ever, ever hit someone with a glass object unless you're trying to kill them. It's legit a deadly weapon. This was years ago but I was working in a pub and this woman came in with her much younger partner. He was being refused service due to his age but he accused staff of being racist. He grabbed a bar stool and started smashing it against the fruit machine, a mirror, the bar and finally flung it at a female member of staff. A huge guy came barreling through from the saloon bar and just picked him up by the throat and shoved him out the door. According to Google, fruit machine is Britishese for slot machine, for anyone else confused. Edit. 
It's also slang for a device the Canadian government tried to use to identify and oust gay people. Ooh, thanks. I was mentally picturing a vending machine with fruit in it. Maybe someone wants more than one slice to garnish their drink. Lol thank you I was picturing a smoothie machine. Working in a hotel bar for a luxury hotel. Had a guy come in around 3 in the morning. Really nothing was happening anymore since it was the middle of the week. He sat down opposite of me and ordered two bottles of champagne. For the last two guests that were still around, order two cocktails for my colleague and I and afterwards our most expensive whiskey, Johnny Walker's King George, which we sell at a solid 75 euros per 4 centiliters. He proceeded to drink half of the bottle being around 40 centiliters, so 750 bucks only for the whiskey. Later he ended up telling us his wife cheated on him with his best friend, took the kids to leave for her mother's house and he had no other real friends to turn to since all he did was work. Holy shit I felt awful listening to the guy as you could tell that his life was 100% ruined he ended up spending around 1200 bucks on drinks and a little to eat and gave a 200 euros tip when he was about to leave thanking us for listening. I really hope he's doing better and at least got his kids or something. Seemed like a nice guy. Maybe not the most fucked up story but it stuck with me cause you could feel the guy's pain. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Probably spending all his cash before taking one last nap. Horrible to say but thought the same thing. Waitress's ex-boyfriend stood in the rain and stared at her through the window for what felt like forever, and then started screaming all sorts of threats and just awful shit about her. I rushed to lock the door and just barely made it before he started going crazy trying to get in. The police showed up shortly after and arrested him. His roommate found a crack pipe in his room. Last I heard he's in prison for drugs. That's a weird thing to go to prison for there's way better places to go for drugs. But that is still a good venue at which to score. And possibly be the score too, unless you took that sage advice from the movie Office Space and kicked someone's ass on your first day in. Damn it, I thought they said, licked, now I'm way too popular. During last call, at least four people always ask me if I know where they can get some cocaine to sober up for the drive home. Classy. Besides bodily fluids, genitals, sex, drugs, drunk stupidity, we have a barricade around the outdoor area that is made of planters. We put some pepper plants, among other things, in them. Recently had some unsupervised children start ripping jalapenos up with their hands and one get juice from it in their eye. Also recently had a guy pick a Carolina Reaper and eat it. He suffered for a solid 30 minutes and deserved even more. So my first bar job was in a really small town dive, the type where the same regulars are there every day, whose drink orders you have memorized. Well on my off time, I didn't like going there because people would buy the employees drinks and I'd end up way more drunk than I wanted to be. So one night, I'm drinking elsewhere in town and decide to come by for a beer before going home. Big mistake, a fight breaks out between these two biker women and it isn't just some normal fight. Slamming heads on tables, breaking everything around them, hair grabbing, elbows right to the face. They were going absolutely insane. Drunk me besides it's a good idea to step in. Eventually, I pull them apart and one runs out. The one I'm holding in one of the booths looks bewildered and is trying to get out the door but I held her in place until she calmed down so she could what just happened. I ask her what all that was about and she replies, that's my fucking daughter. Naturally I have to ask, why are you fighting your daughter in a bar? The answer because she's fucking my husband. Apparently right before I came in, the daughter and her dad were making out in that booth we were currently in. We end up letting her go after making sure the daughter was gone so no more fights would happen, at least on our property. I immediately walk up to the bar, order a double shot of tequila, a beer, and an ice pack. I realized I caught one of those elbows and had a bit of a shiner. Never went back there on my off time after that. Please tell me the daughter was adopted at least please. The husband doesn't have to be the actual father. I'm not a bartender, just a good drinker. I was hanging out at a bar in Key Largo where locals go to drink and a dive boat captain was getting pretty familiar with a local waitress. The waitress dealt with it up until he started trying to finger her under her skirt while she was shoot pool. She turned and hit him with the cue stick, but she didn't swing it. She jabbed him right in the teeth with the tip. She knocked out both upper and lower front teeth and left him bleeding on the floor as she hauled ass out the back door. It was nothing short of amazing. Good for her. What an asshole. 
good for her. I had a similar experience at a bar on Halloween a few years back. Guy thought because I was in costume he could put his hand up my skirt. Unlucky for him I was dressed as the Riddler and he got my Riddler cane jabbed hard right into his stomach. At least he apologized as he doubled over in pain. Worked at one place that had recently been bought by new owners. They were two middle-aged guys one lived a little far away so he would only come by for two days a week. For him, it wasn't checking up on the business, it was party time and he'd be plastered the entire time. Mind you, he always carried a pistol. The bathrooms were kind of in a weird location, where you went down a little hallway through the service area, pos, staircases etc. One night, coming out of the bathroom shit faced he thought it would be funny to sneak up behind a waitress putting an order in the computer and hold his gun to her head and yell something like, put your hands up. I've never heard a scream like she let out. Nothing tragic happened, thank god, but it was beyond fucked up. They didn't stay in business very long. She could have filed a police report that's assault with a deadly weapon. Seen a few of these as someone who helped set up new accounts in the bar restaurant business. Basically drunks with money who think it's a fabulous idea to open a bar and hang out and drink in it. What could go wrong, I never knew of one succeeding. Honestly, reading all of these, I have experienced some variation of almost all the other stories. I saw a guy arrange a ski trip to Vail with two high-end working girls. Flight, rooms, lift tickets, thousands of dollars in accommodations from his phone at the bar. Best part was the made him get a suite so they could have their own girls room. As a manager, I didn't actually witness but watched the tapes after. I had a bartender get so wasted he passed out on the floor behind the bar during service. The cook came out and closed everyone's tab and locked up. Couple hours later, bartender woke and tried to clean up. Ended up just putting post-its that said, we'll clean, on everything, breaking a hose and leaving while it flooded the floor. Fortunately, I showed up for brunch before it was disaster level. As far as sexual exploits, the Starbucks I worked at in college puts every other job to shame. Good for her, I had a similar experience at a bar on Halloween a few years back. Guy thought because I was in costume he could put his hand up my skirt. Unlucky for him I was dressed as the Riddler and he got my Riddler cane jabbed hard right into his stomach. At least he apologized as he doubled over in pain. Quite a busy weekday evening. My somewhat dramatic best friend was waitressing that night and ran into the bar screaming, he's been stabbed. We worked in a relatively posh bar in a quiet area so I thought she was just exaggerating a cut from broken glass or something but then one of the bouncers rushes in with the other bouncer slumping against him and takes him into the staff area. I was the only one with any medical knowledge, i.e. I took a first aid class years prior, so went to help. I get him to take his shirt off and there's a 2 inch knife wound about 6 inches under his left nipple. I was on the phone to the ambulance and had to describe to them his status as he went into shock, slumped against the wall turning white to the point of fainting. The tea was that a regular of ours, an ex-boxer, drug dealer had tried to rape the bouncer in the gym and because the bouncer had told people, the drug dealer had come to shut him up. I think the bouncer was fine, the ambulance picked him up and we never saw him again but the drug dealer was friends with the boss so was in drinking the weekend after like nothing had happened. The bar I worked in was in a well-to-do, very white neighborhood. We recently hired a new chef who was black. On a day shift, there were two men and a woman sitting at the bar directly in front of the taps and as I was pouring a pint, the louder, fatter man chokes on his drink and splutters to his friends, they've got one of them working here. I turned and saw our new chef heading from the kitchen to the stores. The older man, very matter-of-factly said, don't worry, they have to wear gloves when they're touching your food, and the woman burst into laughter and said, oh, you two are awful. Stunned, I served the pint to another customer then walked around the bar to the racists. I hope I just misheard something there, can you repeat it? The fat, loud one said, no, it's none of your business. I told them that based on what I think I heard, they weren't getting served again, and as the only bartender on, they couldn't get drinks. They tried to get me fired by saying I was listening into customers' conversations because they were actually friends with the manager, but after I explained, the boss's dad backed me up and agreed they were barred. A regular we had with some motor impairments went into the only men's cubicle for quite some time then hurriedly left without finishing his drink. During routine cleaning we found the shitakalisp in that cubicle. We think he'd tried to make it to the toilet but missed as he sat down and defecated on the floor. 
Then we think he tried to scoop it into the toilet and wipe the toilet clean but it was of a custardy consistency when it came out. So it just resulted in the floor, the sides of the toilet, the seat and the bowl being covered in hand-smeared shite. I think we actually hired a special company to clean it properly because we were all retching. This dude got a blow job from a girl on the bar stool next to him. Floor to ceiling windows behind them, corner spot of the BSR, full tables behind them too. It was a pretty funny GTFO moment. Also some really violent shit that's hard to talk about. Not a bartender but worked as one for a long time and during this incident. Was out for Halloween one year. Ended up at the local nightclub that all the students from the local colleges and universities. Anyway one of the girls in our group got separated. We all thought she went of with another group of her own friends. Turned out she was raped in the nightclub in front of several groups in the back private area and they all thought the screams and struggles were just part of the Halloween night. She left the city after that and we've never heard from her again. In Vegas, what started in a bar and eventually led to the casino floor was an obvious drug deal. You had the dealer, one guy, and two women sitting across from one another and across the bar floor and across the counter. Basically these people were terrible at this as they drew attention to themselves. Well anyway, the metro was all over this situation pretty quickly. I'm thinking they already knew who some or all of these people were. Now the good part, they chose not to go quietly and began to verbally assault the cops who were there. The cops didn't want to engage because it was a two-on-two -two situation and they were waiting for backup. The two guys end up arm in arm, like walking while holding each other across the shoulder, in a slow speed chase around the casino floor adjacent to the bar and yelling at the cops who followed them. This gets better as more cops show up and the parade grows. It was a funny sight until they finally took them down. There wasn't a big fight or anything and they went easier than expected. Not really a brutal story but thought I would share anyway. This is going to count because I'm not the bartender, but the female bartender straight up saved me from having to fight or going to jail. I was at a country style bar with my GF, now fiance, and parents. I went to go get us some drinks and this girl comes up and says, I'll give you a kiss if you want to buy me a drink. I politely decline and just tell her I'm taken. She goes, come on, I can do more than kiss, or something to that effect. I tell her if I wasn't taken I would happily take her up on that but I'm just with someone. She then grabs my face and kisses me on the lips, so I push her. Hard and she flies across the bar into some chairs and shit and it causes a big scene. A bunch of guys run up to me trying to be white knights, and her friends are freaking out. This female bartender literally jumps on the bar and screams hey hey hey. At the top of her lungs and then says get that bitch out of the bar. I heard and saw the whole thing. Then a bouncer took her outside and people calmed down enough for me to explain myself. It was nutty, edit. I feel like I should clarify that I didn't want to hurt this girl or anything. It was just like instinct when someone grabs your head with both hands and kisses you. Looking back, I could have handled bit differently but it was so sudden. I basically leaned into her and did an explosive push-up off her chest. Saw alcohol poisoning, like the dude came in trashed, we didn't serve him. Accused our kitchen manager of raping his son? Tragically, we think that may have been a part of his past and he was just accusing random people in his psychosis passed out on the sidewalk after being carried out, was unconscious by the time the ambulance showed up. Came back the next day to pick up his phone and gave me a big fat tip for dealing with him. Some one guy coming up around the corner after being stabbed outside the bar. Checked the bar real quick for nurses, saw one who's a regular, let him deal with it till the ambulance came. People shooting dope in the bathroom. Someone OD'd in the coffee shop bathroom across the street. Saw him be carried out, met his family who came in the next week to thank the staff for doing all they could and to see where their son died. Sad all around, people falling because drunk, but claiming they were injured because the sidewalk was uneven, or an infilled pothole, etc. And bartenders corroborating seeing the accident, which never happened, so a regular could sue the city. Fights inside the bar, outside the bar, dudes stealing construction equipment from a site down the street and attempting to sell it at the bar worked with a bartender who was engaged, but would get girls he didn't know drunk at his bar for free and then let them stay after hours and fuck them in the building. Super not cool to get girls drunk and prey on them. He was fired but for other reasons. A homeless woman would come in and lock herself in the bathroom to take a sink bath. One bartender would chase her out with a rolled up newspaper. 
It would be funny in a comedy, but in real life it's sad. In a nicer part of town a crazy naked man stole a taxi and drove it in circles around the square which was filled with restaurants and bars until he crashed it in the middle of the day. Bar or kitchen staff cutting fingers off with knife or broken glass. There's a lot more probably but that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Lots of sex workers in the area, so plenty of interesting stuff there, geez I have a lot, and probably a lot more but that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Dudes stealing construction equipment from a site down the street and attempting to sell it at the bar. I was working at a construction site where the laser equipment was stolen. These thieves weren't stupid enough to sell it at the local bar, they drove 200 kilometers away to sell it in a bar. Their only mistake was that the equipment had the company name on it and the people who they were trying to sell it to had the same company name on their company shirts. Thieves were told to sit down and wait for police while being surrounded by 25 construction workers who wanted any excuse to beat the crap out of them. Sorry if this is a stupid question, but why would a bar want to purchase construction equipment? Because if the gear hadn't been theirs all along these guys would probably have bought it for cheap. Bro, not the bar, random people drinking at the bar. You just reminded me of a thing in my local years ago. One of the guys sat at the bar was your typical unhinged alcoholic. He'd drink too much, fall asleep on the bar, wake up and keep ordering. That was his life. Well one day he drinks too much, falls asleep on the bar and stays there. I thought he looked a little weird but was too young to recognize what had happened. X something chap walks in and clocks immediately, he's dead. Dude had died a couple of hours before in his sleep head down on the bar. When I was tending, the second a person put their head on the bar I was on them to either perk up or get out. That's like a nightmare scenario of legal liability. So I get you were young, but if you're in the states no one is ever allowed to put their head down or sleep, pass out in a bar, because either way it looks like they were overserved. At best that's a fine for the establishment and loss of your personal license, at worst the bar loses their license, is shut down, and potentially faces a lawsuit. I used to work in a restaurant per bar that had a large basement for storage in the manager's office. I had finished cooking for the night and had to clean up a mess that was made earlier in the night. I was down there about an hour so it was coming up on 3 am. The lights are down save for a few spots in the kitchen and downstairs where I am. I went upstairs and the music was off, which was weird as it was usually the last thing before we close. Well I walked around the corner and the closing server was bent over the bar about 30 feet away with the manager on one end and the bartender on the other, doing it dirty. Now, they didn't see me as I was behind a large section off dish pit area but I pretty much had a window where I could see them. I was kinda shocked but also holding back laughter. I backed down the stairs slowly and then made a racket downstairs to alert them to my presence. It was really awkward when I said bye to them about 10 minutes later. The music was back on and we were all looking at each other for what seemed like an hour. I asked everything okay? While looking at them suspiciously. Nervous, yes, were uttered and I went on my way. The server texted me about an hour later and asked if everything was cool and I responded that everything was fine. A bit of bad luck for them though. There were two cameras that caught the action. Twas the talk of the bar for months. Female server and bartender both quit, manager was fired. Good times. Did the cameras spot your double take? One camera did catch me stopping as I rounded the corner, haha. <laughs> Not a bartender, but a busser who works at a sports bar. I've been working this job since June and I already overheard way too many disgusting things. The worst one I overheard was a father talking about his daughter's developing body and how, sexy, she was becoming to another guy at a table. There's a big difference between a father trying to compliment his daughter's beauty out of love and a father who's just being a complete weirdo about his daughter's body. Whoever that guy was is a total weirdo. I wasn't working there at the time but it was a story I heard that happened about a year prior to me starting. The manager at the time was engaged to one of the bartenders whom we will call Anna. The bar held an event there and it seems everyone, including the manager and members of staff, got really drunk. Near closing time. Anna went into to the office where she caught her fiancé, the manager, having sex with the bar back. As one can assume, a huge argument broke out which then escalated in the drunken manager laying hands on Anna. From what I heard, she was beaten rather badly. The manager and the bar back were fired as soon as the owner heard about the incident. Naturally, the engagement was called off. I don't know if charges were laid against the manager but I do hope so. 
Anna stopped working at the bar after that but I do know she is now living a happy single life and has a higher paying job so at least the story has a happy ending smiley face. Bouncer not bartender but from girl sitting on the curb wasted with her friend waiting for their ride. Ah uh, my vagina smells like puke. And that's how I met your mother. Ha 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 left out that we've been dating for several years now. Just kidding. Maybe. Two guys on their 40s, naturally, discussing their sex with minor practices. Girls with 12 to minus 14 years old. I was in complete shock. Never saw them again, I particularly hope they're dead or at least in jail. Where the fuck was this that they felt comfortable to talk about it openly? In a bakery, seriously, I was taking a shift at the counter when it happened. Yes, there was other people around. And yes, they could hear them too. My straight a council had a meeting with a property manager who seemed to have no issue mentioning coon grooming or, as she later described in more detail, driving by in a pickup truck and whacking the n asterisk asterisk errs with a broom, escapades from her youth. This was a professional meeting. In a crowded restaurant, she did not use a moderate tone of voice she had not, at least at the restaurant, been drinking some people are just vile and feel no shame or fear of consequence bartended at the same nightclub for five years. It was a rule that us girls had to be walked out to our cars at the end of every night by two bouncers because one of our regulars was stalking one of my co-workers and she didn't even know it. Before this rule, said stalker had hid under her car waiting for her to come out after her shift ended to try and take her. Someone asked me for a Lafroig and lemonade once. This is the worst thing I have read on here or maybe all of Reddit. Hope they were thrown out on their ear absolutely disgusting. A bar I worked at has Louis XIII at 400 pounds a shot. The guy mixed it with a coke. Mother of God. One of the local bar managers is French and witnessed the act. I heard he was not happy. I worked in a bar where a guy walked up to the bar and the bartender could only see him from the waist up, he was completely coherent and talking to the bartender when all the other bar patrons started gasping and laughing uncontrollably. One of the waitresses ran behind the bar and let the bartender know that the dude had whipped his dick out and started pissing on the bar. Have seen that a few times, more than once from the same bloke mind you. Went out with some friends in NYC and we were waiting to get into this bar. Half our group is let in when the bouncer stops my buddy's cousin and said he can't come in. He gets pissed and is yelling at the bouncer who just quietly says, you know why you can't come in. He kept yelling at him till the bartender interrupts him and said, Last time you were here you pissed all over the bar and we had to throw you out on the street with your dick still out. My friend's cousin got silent, says sorry, and walks away. Apparently he had no memory of this at all but said it's totally possible he did that. Been a bouncer for 10 years in an up and coming area, a nice mix of would-be gentrifiers and poverty-stricken folks. Some of the craziest times, had to kick out a guy who was carrying a gun and threatening to shoot people. When the cops finally arrived, they let him go because he was a cop. That sucked. Gripped up a guy who was choking his girlfriend and then the girlfriend got mad at me and started hitting me. Me and the team had to the throw a guy off a roof. We caught him, don't worry. Who was high as fuck on meth seen a prostitute drop true and pee so hard I thought she was gonna take off like a rocket. I get called racist often enough by people of my own race because I took their fake ID. Or I get called racist for denying someone for being too drunk. Had to kick out an old man with a staff, think of Gandalf. He began to hit me in the face with said staff and I gently placed him on the ground. I said, I'll let you UPNIF you chill out. He agreed and then I started to let him go he screamed, I'm a kung fu master, and I just held him down again. When the cops showed up they asked if I wanted him locked up, I said no and he's probably just someone's grandpa having a bad day. I asked the cop what he would have done in that situation and dead ass looked me in the eyes and said, I know he's old but you're a man first and foremost, right? He was telling me that if he was me in this situation he would have beat the snot out of the guy. Wild. I'm sure I'm forgetting a lot but that's just the six off the top of my head. You got some fine police over there. Not a bartender but sat at a fancy hotel bar one day and overheard this guy on the phone, and then she just said okay. I didn't believe it but she proceeded to poop on me, and it was hot. I I mean she had everything, the stretch marks, the smell and let me tell you it was a nice big solid one. A moment of the other side of the line talking. Yeah dude it was so fucking wild, but fucking hotel man. 
They billed me like $1,000 for the stupid bed. Jesus Christ. I know. $1,000 for pooping on a bed, right? What a steal. Bouncer not bartender but. Dad brought his 10-ish year old daughter to see a concert and he proceeded to get so drunk he could barely stand up. Some nice women comforted the daughter and hung with her till someone could come get her and I kept the dad from wandering away or falling and hurting himself while we waited for police. Not dad of the year. That reminds me of a Thursday night performance of Evil Dead the musical I attended at the city theater in Hockeytown Cafe a few years back. Since the theater was inside of a bar audiences could get a little rowdy and that night was no exception. In the row in front of me, there was a group consisting of a mom, her boyfriend, her 13-year-old daughter, and a family friend. I actually made small talk with the boyfriend before the show a little bit, seemed like a reasonably nice guy but had clearly been enjoying himself a bit while waiting in line. Mom, on the other hand, was wasted. When the show started, she pretty immediately started adding in her own riffs, which generally isn't appreciated in live theater. I made the mistake of shushing her, which meant she was loudly making rude comments to me for most of the first act. Her defense against being shushed was, but it's a musical. The usher eventually came over and asked her to quiet down, and I had to do so at least one more time during the first act. During intermission, the ushers and management and grabbed her on her way out of the theater to give her a sterner talking to. Luckily, that show was general admission so my sister and I simply moved to the other side of the theater during intermission. Which turned out to be a great move because the woman got ejected about five minutes into the second act. She tried to argue it with the manager of the bar, only relenting when he threatened to shut the whole show down until she left. Her daughter had to leave with her, but was allowed back in with the family friend a few minutes later. I can only imagine how mortified the young lady was at her mom's behavior. Side note. When I spoke with my friends in the show afterward, they were amused to find out that it was me who the woman was yelling at in the audience. Bartender for 12 years, someone shitting in a urinal, a guy overdosing on fentanyl getting revived by paramedics and he comes back up to the bar asking for another beer even though he is bleeding profusely from the nose. A guy pulling a cork screw on me, an older couple literally jerking each other off at their table on a Tuesday afternoon and we at the bar can literally see under the raised table, they were very, very mad when we asked them to leave. I mean a couple days ago a guy walked in, mid-afternoon, obviously intoxicated tried to kick him out but he runs to the bathroom, straight into the women's, proceeds to diarrhea spray the toilet and floor, drops a glass 40 of vodka and smashes, guess who cleaned that up smiley face, I mean stupidest thing I saw, 20 guys start fighting, me and two other bartenders break it up, shit is calming down, fat guy, unrelated to the fight, gets up, rips his shirt off, smashes a chair on the ground, realizes the fight is over, sits down and keeps eating. Guess where I live for an upvote smiley face. Edit. I've been found. Has to be Florida. Saw a guy smash his own head through a window because we stopped him from fighting another guy. Found blood all over the entranceway and he was just casually standing outside having a smoke while his left cheek was literally hanging off. Wouldn't go to the hospital until his wife started talking to him again. Took 90 minutes to convince him. Another time saw two guys get into a fight outside in the car park and ended up turning into a stabbing. Nobody died but both guys sued the bar instead of each other because there was no money to made suing one another. We had to settle the lawsuit as it was cheaper than extending court for another week. Late here but I have a couple. Some bigger girl tried sitting on the bathroom sink to take a selfie of her ass and snap the sink right off the wall. She opened the door and ran outside. Everyone was laughing when the door opened and the sink was on the ground. I was pissed. This was was rough. There was a regular who would come up to my bar every Saturday. He would sometimes bring random girls to drink with him. Usually women that were drunks like him, super trashy looking. My bar counter is really long, like 45 feet from one end to the other. Well one night, they sat on the furthest part of the bar and were drinking for a couple hours. There were about 20 people in the bar. They were kissing each other frequently and playing music on the jukebox. She was drinking a mixed drink. It would take my about 7 to 10 seconds to walk from the poor station to their side of the bar. Well dude, she orders her drink again. So I walk to my poor station to make the drink. As soon as I turn around to walk with her drink, this guy pulls her boob out and starts sucking it in front of everyone. The worst part is she didn't break eye contact with me the entire walk. 
so I had a solid 7 seconds of her staring into my soul while she was getting her boobs sucked. Biggest areola I've ever seen in my life. I had to kick them out. The guy was like, what, what did I do wrong? Elmao. I couldn't get that image out of my head for a couple of years. I bartender in a Buja neighborhood. Grown ass men buying expensive drinks for young girls so they feel pressure to down them. The same men got into yelling matches when the bartenders ordered the girls an Uber and sent them home safely. Also had a regular couple with an age gap, M40s, F27, where he would reduce her to tears in front of the whole bar with cheating accusations, but hook up with his ex-wife in plain sight whenever his GF was away. I tried to tell her when I quit but it she made a big stink about it and got mad at me for starting drama, so I figured I'd done all I could. Ah the old emasculated rage because you take away their rape targets. You lot are doing very important work to stop these creeps. I tended bar in the 90s. Saw some wild things. A guy in a trench coat walked in and showed me the two shotguns he had under the coat. Wasn't threatening me, just showing off. Had some mental issues, it was clear. Second instance that comes to mind was a middle-aged man who spoke openly about teaching his son to hate. Then asked me to shove a fork into his head, obviously looking for a fight. I politely declined. Small town, northern Montana. Was 19 at the time doing an afternoon shift by myself at the bar. No other staff were in the building, unfortunately. An older guy around his 50s comes in with a younger bloke in his early 20s. I realized the older one was already pretty intoxicated, so after just one drink I cut him off. I was keeping an eye on these two blokes by doing mundane jobs within their earshot. They were pretty engrossed in conversation when I overheard the older guy tell the younger one, in a mocking, belittling kind of tone. You know I'm not your dad, right? Hell broke loose after that. Both guys got into a bloody punch-out then and there. I had to yell at them to take it outside. I hadn't seen so much blood before or anything graphic like that IRL. Thankfully there were a few blokes, who were the only other customers in the bar at the time, help me out. I called the cops and my manager after that and then went out to the beer garden and had a little cry. Being the only female, or staff member for that matter, on shift at the time was the thing that made me pretty uncomfortable. It's nothing crazy compared to some other ones, but it definitely rattled me at the time. Nice. You have made it to the end already. Thank you for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, please do so, as there will be more videos like this in the near future.